Good morning guys. It is early. So today we have Telus here hooking up fiber optic lines. So we're going to have some fiber TV and exceptionally fast internet speed. Hallelujah. So it should only take me, you know, 20 minutes to upload a film now. So that's exciting. But little dog's gonna be barking all day while he's here because she doesn't do so well with strangers in the house. And she's already started. So check out this morning's view. And it's gonna be a hot one again here today, so. I said last night I think we're gonna be heading to the lake this afternoon Put my glasses on so I can see and yeah I'm gonna get some breakfast and I'll check in with you guys soon oh there you have it guys my bowl of mixed up cereal Jamie. Talos is still here, hooking up the fiber optics to the house. So, I'm going to be without internet, he says, for the next half an hour. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I think I'll probably edit some uh, photos. So yeah, I will check in with you guys soon. Hey guys, so um, today's plan sort of didn't pan out the way um, we had hoped. Um, I know there's a, an expression about um, best, uh, I don't know, something about planned, something or other. Anyhow, so, uh, which sort of left me with not very much on the vlog today, so I thought I would whip up a recipe because we do plan on going tomorrow earlier in the afternoon and not letting it go so late so um, that was the problem today so I'm going to whip up a um, homemade guacamole and um, it's just your basic recipe I'm sure that it's the same recipe everybody uses so I thought I would just share it with you guys so basically we're gonna have avocados some cilantro that's a uh, jalapeno from our garden a tomato I've got um, a lime and a lemon and an onion so I'm gonna set the camera up on the tripod and uh, whip up a really nice fresh guacamole guys so just bear with me okay guys so first we're gonna start by getting our avocados um, ready so you just slice all the way around and then you just take your blade and you sort of tap it down into the pit and then if you kind of give it a twist it pops right out And we're going to scoop the insides out, just follow along um, on the skin, on the peel. I'm going to throw them in to the Ninja and just uh, get this sped up.
Guys, so there we have it. A nice chunky um, avocado. So now I'm going to add my cilantro. So I just pull off um, from the bigger stems. And just chop it up as fine as you would like to have it. This was a pretty generous handful of cilantro, or depending where you live, coriander. Alright, so I'm just going to put all that in there now. Okay, so I'm just going to use half an onion because we don't have a lot of uh, guacamole. And I just want to again chop this up. I like this a little bit fine. I don't really like biting into huge pieces of uh, onion in my guacamole. Okay, well that's about reasonable okay now I do like a little bit of heat you don't have to add this um, a way that you can control the heat with jalapenos is to take the seeds out uh, there's a lot of heat in the seeds so we're going to seed these ones or this one and I probably won't even use the whole entire jalapeno I think we'll just go for half and this you want to chop as fine as you can because you don't want to bite into a really hot spicy piece of jalapeno so that's not so much And then we've got a firm tomato and I don't know if I'll use all of this we'll just kind of have a look and see I have a feeling that half is going to be good enough Okay, now we're just going to, I'm going to squeeze some of the excess uh, tomato water, I guess, from this one, because I don't want the guacamole super wet. Okay, and then last is 
I'm gonna do a lemon and a lime. This is this is crucial. This is what helps um, stop your guacamole from turning black in the fridge because the uh, avocado oxidizes when the air hits it. And that's what turns up that yucky dark dark green color or brown or black. So the citrus is an important component. Just add some salt and pepper to taste. And I'm not going to put too much fresh pepper in here because we've got the jalapeno in there. And then we're just going to stir it all together, guys. How amazing does that look? So fresh. And really mix it well. Make sure that you get everything well blended. And then if you let it set for, I mean, it's really delicious right away. But I find that it tastes really good if you can let it sit in the fridge for a couple of hours and let all the flavors sort of come together. There you have it. Fresh homemade guacamole. And yeah, it tastes delish. You'll never buy store bought again. And you know, you just know that I have to sample this. And I happen to have some blue tortilla chips on hand. So here it goes, guys. Mmm, so fresh. Hey guys, so I don't know what happened, but the camera just sort of shut off, so then I decided I would upload all the video clips to the computer, and that took forever, so. But I can tell you that the guacamole tastes delish. If you guys try the recipe, please leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of it. So, because I'm afraid the com um camera's going to shut off again. I thought we'd just jump right into the activities for the day. So all the circles filled in. 552 of the 370 calories, 33 minutes of the 30, and a total stand of 15. Uh, 8,354 steps and a distance of 6.45 kilometers. So yeah, uh, today we had TELUS in the house. They hooked us up to fiber optics, so um, my upload speed is supposed to go through the roof now, so we'll see. Um, hopefully that's the case. Um, tomorrow we're going to definitely be going out um, and enjoying some, uh, like a picnic or something, so uh, please uh, tune in and um, watch the video tomorrow as well. And that's it for today, guys. So thanks for hanging out with me. Please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell so you can get notifications. Um, leave me a comment below. And um, until next time, guys, remember to be good to yourself. Oops. <laughs>